Hello everyone, it's Andrew from GemTCG here and for today's video, I'm very excited to show the eBay card listing tool that I've been working on that uses image recognition to pre-fill all of the data so they can just list the cards on eBay really quickly and you can list up to a thousand cards an hour using this tool. And if you've been seeing my short form videos, I've been making a lot of progress on it and today it is finally released and you can access it at tcgautomate.com and for this video, I'm just going to be showing you the features of it and how it can be helpful for eBay sellers, specifically Pokemon resellers. And then also talk about future plans that I have in mind for the tool, like what will be coming next, things I'll be focusing on in the future, different TCGs being added, and other stuff like that. So stick around if you're interested in seeing that. But first, let's just go to the website. Okay, so starting at tcgautomate.com, you'll see this landing page and then you could also just see any a lot more information on what the tool does, how it works, the pricing. And as you can see here, there is a yearly discount. It ranges from 10 to 20% depending on the tier. So if you buy a whole year subscription, you get a large discount. Let's go to the get started page. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to sign in with Google, which is what is recommended. You could also sign up with an email and that generates a magic link to log in. But then you have to do that every time. So the easiest way is, is to just sign in with Google, go to the dashboard. And for me, I already tested it out with some batches and I've already started listing some cards. But what you want to do when you first get here is subscribe to any tier because the list cards feature won't work if you aren't subscribed to a tier. And then once you do that, you want to go to settings and put a city state combination and then a zip code otherwise the tool won't work or the listing feature won't work because ebay requires a zip code and state abbreviation for your listing and it also requires the zip code so make those changes and then save them you only have to do it once and then that's it and then after that go to list cards put in your name of the batch this doesn't really matter it's just in case you want to memorize it for later or like recall it later then you could set a buy it now price for what you want like each default card to be and you can obviously change this later but i set it at three because i list all my cards for three dollars on ebay that are bulk and you want to select front only or front and back and what that means is are you going to be uploading only pictures of the front or are you going to be uploading pictures of the front and the back so you have to select that before you upload anything and then choose your card images i'll be selecting all these just for the test and click submit batch and sometimes it takes a little while because it is recognizing all these cards using image recognition to do that so just like sit back and wait i guess if you want and it shows like which step it's on at the bottom right like right there it's a generating card predictions and then it will take you to this batch page with all the image recognition like already applied and all the data and details pre-filled and then what you'll see here is like the title you know the price name set these are all the item specifics that you need and then the description is in html format because ebay requires descriptions to be in that format or at least uploading them it has to be in html format what you'll notice here is this market price so it actually tracks the market price of the card that it thinks it is and this value gets updated daily so it's never outdated market prices this can be used to quickly reference what a card is worth so that you don't have to go on tcg player look up the card name and then do that for every single card because it does take a extremely long amount of time. I think price matching is the slowest part of my listing process, like one of the slowest. So I added this in to make it like a lot quicker for reference. And then let's say, you know, you get a card that's incorrect, like this Buneri. Well, I predicted that it's a Buneri, but it's actually, as you can see in this picture, it's a Zoomeril. So you click on this view button and the listing info will show what's already pre-filled. It'll show the scanned image of what you uploaded. And then down here, it shows the matched info. So it thinks that the card that you uploaded is a Buneri Master Ball pattern. But obviously that's incorrect. So what you'll wanna do is click on this show other predictions and it will provide a whole list of cards that it thinks it might be. And right here, you can see this one is correct, a Zoomerill, and you can select the reverse hollow version. Then it'll pre-fill it to be correct here. And it will also show you the match info data. And let's just say you want to check on TCG player, like any sales history or how the card has been trending. Click on this link 
and it will take you to the exact card so that you can look at all the current listings and just see any other TCG player data over there. Now let's say you get everything all figured out, everything is perfectly labeled and correct. You're gonna to want to, just for safe purposes, click Save Changes and then download CSV. So what that will do is it'll create a CSV of all of the details. Also, for those of you that may be wondering if it works on non-scanned images, so like if you take a picture with your phone, it actually does. So I uploaded these two images I found on Google of an agron, and this one's very zoomed out, and it also has a gray background, yet it still recognized it. Same here, this one has a very big white background, and it was also a very small image, and it still recognized the card. So you can, of course, use this without needing a scanner, which definitely helps a lot, because I know not everyone can get a scanner, and a lot of them can be pretty expensive. So I hope this helps for those of you that would need it without needing a scanner. And if you ever want, you can go into that CSV and update things as you wish. But for the purpose of this video, I will not be doing that because everything is already how I want it to be. Then you go to reports on eBay, go to uploads, scroll down to this upload template button right here, choose file. And then you want to go to wherever the file got saved. And then as you can see here, once it's completed, it says how many failed and how many were successful. So 38 out of 40 were successful. As of right now, 38 got listed. So let's see how the listings look. So when you go to your listings and active, you'll see all the new listings right here. There's 38 of them in total. So let's just look at one example, like the Skarmory from Twilight Masquerade. And it has the picture, title. You can go down and see all the item specifics are pre-filled so that it will help your items rank higher because these definitely help with your listings. And it also, this is a very good sign that eBay recognizes exactly what it is and refer or recommends different copies of the same card. And then if you ever need to edit something, you could always just go to this revised listing here. Or what I like to do is just select all of them and then mass edit them in the, like the bulk edit tools. So like right here, I can just go in and select them all. And then I could put category that I want or change the conditions if needed, or even change the SKUs. And these will all be worked on too, so that you could automate it in the future and not have to worry about editing. But right now, this is what it tool is. And I will always be making videos to show new features and new updates with the tool. Thank you all for watching that tutorial video and just seeing how the tool actually works. And now I'm going to be talking about things that I'll be adding in the future. So some small things are changing the conditions of the card specifically, like for each specific card, so that you don't have to list like all near mint cards at once or all lightly played at once. And the next thing I'll be doing that's a smaller adjustment is setting up eBay store categories and having them linked to specific categories so that when people visit your store, they could see like, everything that they need to see in the right place. And on to some bigger changes that I'll be making are adding different TCGs. A lot of people have been requesting Japanese Pokemon, and I do plan on adding that next. That will be the next thing I will be adding because I don't think there's any tool out there that can recognize Japanese cards. So I think this will be a big help for a lot of eBay sellers that sell Japanese cards. And it will also help that there is a market price to show for them because now it's on TCG Player, so you can track the market prices of those cards and it'll just make it a whole lot easier, especially if you don't recognize a specific card. Like sometimes I'll be selling Japanese cards and I can't even recognize them, which is a lot less common now, but I remember back when I didn't have as much knowledge on like the newer Pokemon, that was definitely an issue. So being able to recognize them Will definitely help out a lot but yeah those are the big three that i've that i have in the near future and if you ever think of anything that you would want to see for the tool please let me know either comment it on a video or message me my email and like facebook or on my youtube profile so feel free to reach out and i'll try to be adding as much features that will help you all as possible but yeah thank you all for the support it's been really fun making these videos and then showing you guys the progress on it and I really appreciate you guys being very supportive on everything and all the nice comments on the videos I've been making. So thank you all for that. And I really hope you guys enjoy TCG Automate.
And I hope it helps you guys scale your storefront so they could start listing a lot more cards in a shorter amount of time. Also, one thing that I need to mention if you are a user of this tool is to definitely make sure of your eBay listing limits because eBay limits the amount of listings you can add for free to your store. So if if you are limited on that and let's say you're only allowed to list 500 cards a month or 500 items a month, I would not recommend listing more cards than that because you will be charged an insertion fee by eBay for every card over that limit. So let's say your limit is 500 cards a month and you have already listed, let's say 400. And then you use this tool to upload 200 images or 200 cards. You will be charged for those 100 extra listings. And I believe the insertion fee is like 30 cents for every single um, listing added after that. So please be aware of that and please do not go over your limit because I don't want you guys to be charged for no reason. It's happened to me a lot in the past using a tool like similar to this, but not the exact one. Obviously not this one, but just be careful of that and obviously get a store subscription once you need to be able to list more cards because that is the probably the easiest way to scale is to be able to list more items because then you can make more sales. But that's a topic for another day. I just want you to let you guys know about that just so you're aware. But yeah, thank you. But yeah, hope you all have a great week and I will see you in the next video.